Hi, I'm Shaila. I'm part of the Masters in Graphic Design Communication at Camberwell. Um, this year, for my final project, I worked on a publication and a podcast based on the decolonization of wellness. I wanted to explore decolonization and through this project, I've actually explored such deep, interesting topics like post-colonialism, transgenerational trauma, epigenetics, uh, healing, medicine, and the gender disparity in medicine, and more. So it's a publication, and then there's a podcast, and I also interview lots of wellness practitioners, and we speak about the South Asian lens towards wellness, and where it's going in the future, how to decolonize it, how to show up as a good ally, and just exciting stuff like that. So the biggest thing that I love about Camberwell is the number of resources. I remember when we first came, Eddie, the technician, shout out Eddie, we love you. He was taking us around the workshops and I kept thinking there's so much to do. I will run out of ideas, but never out of resources, which is why I love being here. There was so much for me to explore. I discovered how much I love analog methods like ceramics and rhizo. And I also discovered how I was able to fuse that with more digital spaces through graphic design and visual. So it was a really exciting time and I love being here. So um, the class got together and a few of us created um, Along the Lines Of, which is a publication by MAGDC. I appreciated how they treated us as design practitioners they, because they spliced us in with actual design practitioners, well I guess I am one now, <laughs> but yeah, so we're in excellent company and I was going through the book and I loved it, so yeah, great, it looks good. My name is Karolina, uh, my project is In Memory. In Memory is a publication that brings to question the mimeograph generation movement that happened during the military dictatorship in Brazil as a form of bringing into question print media as underground communication and fostering contemporary debates and cultural activism. For the making of the publication, I used the dot matrix printer, which is considered obsolete today, so it brings values of perpetuity in print media. So what I most enjoyed about studying in Camberwell and the graphic communication course was having the exchange with very talented students with tutors and having the opportunity to go back to study in an environment that foments experimentation and it questions the ready-made formulas of design. Hi, my name is Gemma and I study graphic design communication at Camberwell and my project is called Community Life. Uh, I've attempted to express the importance of having a sense of community as a result of urbanisation faced by many people and the effect that that has on cultures alongside physical and social isolation from family and friends, especially in the past year, making the understanding of community, belonging and support paramount I suppose. <laughs> I find the technicians at Camberwell really inviting and help you to step out of just your comfort zone using the graphics uh, design studios like you can go and use the wood workshops you can go and use the ceramics and they're really nice and friendly and get excited about your work and it encourages you to yeah push your work further definitely.